Yes. So the question that actually is connected to what Muhammad Rahim is asking a little bit, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, recently, Ustad and Sheikh, there's been a bit of an increase in um, online presence of Ash'ari speakers, which have been making like long um, um, episodes and uh, like hours worth of content about Ash'ari beliefs and and things like this. I was just wondering if you had some advice for like, you know, Ahl Sunnah um, thinking uh, in these matters. And things well, like that, uh, I think uh, ideally uh, avoid them if you can. Uh, unless if you are, alhamdulillah, well established in your belief system and you would like to learn uh, how to correct someone who may fall into the traps of, uh, you know, uh, heretical and uh, uh, Greek philosophy and, and because that's what the uh, Ash'ari uh, Aqidah is all about. Of course, not in its entirety, uh, but they impose uh, terms and words that uh, the Salaf never used or methodology the Salaf never used. Um, and we don't do that with the matters of the unseen. You know, the Aql uh, has uh, its limitations, especially when it comes to uh, the غيبيات, uh, the matters of the unseen. Yeah. Uh, for, uh, always, uh, not uh, just the Ash'ari, anybody, you know, uh, if you are well versed uh, in your belief system and there is no uh, risk uh, of watching and listening, uh, just to uh, maybe if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put you through to somebody who uh, has already fallen into the traps uh, of such, uh, you know, heretical theologies, uh, then you're able to correct them. But I, I would, I, I, quite frankly, a lot of people send me stuff, what do you say about that? And I just, you know, I just say, sorry guys, I'm, I'm too busy to even, you know. Um, yeah. you, you, need, you need to yeah. understand this. Um, there is a verse, I wish I can find it, or one of the uh, people on the broadcast can find it, uh, in Surah Al-An'am, uh, I think it's around 60, if I'm not mistaken, قول الله تعالى, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَكَذَلِكَ نُفَصِّلُ الْآيَاتِ وَلِتَسْتَبِينَ سَبِيلُ الْمُجْرِمِينَ سَبِيلُ الْمُجْرِمِينَ Yeah, and thus we explain the ayat for you, the truth for you, and by learning the truth, you will learn the wicked ways of the transgressors. Uh, so, you know, learning the, the pure, because a lot of Muslims, a lot of Muslims, unfortunately, they, they think that for them to uh, master their beliefs, they have to uh, engage in, uh, in learning uh, other beliefs and, you know, check and balance. No, no, no. Just by learning the truth, uh, right away, this can uh, identify who is not on the truth. وقول علي بن أبي طالب رضي الله عنه أعرف الحق تعرف أهله. Learn the truth and you will know who is on the truth. ف سبحان الله يعني may Allah guide them. That's all. But I would uh, I would just stay out of, of it. In شاء الله بإذن الله. Yeah, because they don't. It seems like they. They're genuinely believing what they're saying, and you can see that they've been affected themselves. But then they become callers to their mistakes, which makes it more of a problem, you know. <clears throat> you know, fitan, uh, you know, oh, we, we categorize uh, fitan, uh, and fitan are the tests uh, into two types. One type that, uh, you know, pertains to the uh, whims and desires. Uh, and this is a good one uh, in the sense of a lot of people, although they may be uh, indulged into uh, responding to their uh, nafs by perpetrating these whims and desires and committing uh, major sins in this area, uh, but they still know that this is wrong. Uh, but the one that is uh, really... Uh, 
trying and, and testy is the uh, fitan, the area of the religion. The, uh, because the individual who falls into the traps of these uh, yes. uh, fitan, they believe that they are on the truth. So they believe, so this Ash'ari would actually teach that stuff as if uh, it is the ultimate truth and everyone else is on, on falsehood. And that's the danger of Bid'ah. وَلِذَلِكْ سُفْيَانِ الثَّوْرِي One of the noble predecessors, uh, an imam from the first uh, three generations, second uh, best if I'm not mistaken, or third. Uh, he said, أَلْبِدْعَةُ أَحَبُّ إِلَى الشَّيْطَانِ مِنَ الْكَبِيرَةِ uh, bid'ah, innovation, is more beloved to shaitan uh, from major sins. Because major sins uh, are, uh, you know, everybody knows, adultery is haram. Even in, in, in non-Muslim uh, uh, morals, people recognize morals and, and morals. Jazakallahu khairan, Omar